Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm still. Oh my God, that was fun. A little bit scary, but fun. Yes, this is a video about toroidal props. Uh, the hype is everywhere and so I had uh, to make my own. And uh, before I show you all the other things, I show you the result. Uh, happened 10-15 minutes ago. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, that was... Uh, I tried to pick up some of the uh, <laughs> shattered. This is the, the biggest part I was able to find. A lot of uh, here smaller ones. Can I show that? Oh, uh, wait. Um, the other here, this one. Look at that. Uh, um, pieces everywhere. Everywhere. Oh my god. And now I show you what I have done. So what have I done? I designed toroidal props with an airfoil shape, not uh, these cycles and then uh, turn them. Um, no, I tried it a different way to give them an sh actual shape. Uh, and a fore and a front and a rear wing. Yeah, you have seen that or you see it uh, here in the picture. It looks nice, I think, for Valentine's uh, Day. It is the right prop, uh, but the uh, hover test was... Uh, it hovered? I'm... I'm... I'm really... I... I, I say mission accomplished because it hovered. That was my first goal. <laughs> More to come. <laughs> So, yeah, perfect segue to please subscribe to the channel and sometimes, yes, I do nonsense and I love it. Yeah, okay, oh, that's so great. Um, yeah, back to the topic. It's, it's still so funny for me. It was a little bit scary at the moment it happened. It, it shattered. Uh, <laughs> you have seen the result and I show you the the hover test in a few seconds. Uh, I printed it in uh, PETG with uh, HIPS support, HIPS HIPS. Normally uh, it's a support material for ABS, perfect. Uh, you just can snack and it's gone. Uh, absolutely perfect. Not perfect for PETG, it was really hard to remove, but I thought it is better to to print it with hips and have a little bit problems to remove it, then printed it in, in PETG and have just one part. Uh, printing without support with this steep angle I think is not possible. I will try it, but I think it is not possible. My One of the faults I think I did was I have not printed it with 100% infill. Um, now I know it uh, better and the next one will be solid, 100% uh, infill. Um, you see here uh, pictures from the microscope where you can see the shape uh, I, I did. Uh, it's transforming over the, the blade form. That's part of the, uh, part of the thing. Uh, but at the inner point, at the hub, uh, it has an, an airfoil shape, not symmetric, asymmetric uh, shaped airfoil with a really steep angle at the inner part, flattening out uh, uh, to, the, to the outer diameter and uh, back in. So, yeah, okay. <laughs> now I show you <laughs> the hover test. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. it's so great. Okay. 
Harvard test. <laughs> the space is too limited here to really fly. But I hope we can hover. Okay. Prop free. They are really not balanced. Exploded. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. I'm not sure. Let me take the camera. <laughs> And that's all we have left. But it hovered. <laughs> they are shattered. Yeah, but it hovered. It hovered. Oh, look at that one. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> Okay, next revision, better. So, uh, so after we've seen the, the hover test and the, the props exploding, uh, yeah, we have to do it again. Uh, here, also a few pictures from the cat uh, renderings. Uh, by the way, all files are uploaded to my printables, to the designs on printables. Uh, links are down in the description. Uh, Thinkiverse, I'm no longer updating. If you are a fan of Thinkiverse, sorry for that. Please go to printables. Yeah, it's a little bit hard for me how to describe my feelings at the moment. At one point, I'm really, really happy it worked. At the other point, I'm a little bit disappointed pointed that they shattered so early. Uh, I was not flying FPV at that moment. Uh, I just wanted to hover. As you have seen in the video, my space is, is really limited. So flying here in between the houses is uh, yeah, not super safe. And also my neighbors are not really happy about that. So I normally really just trying to hover and then go out uh, to our flying field. We have a club a club field, but that is uh, about uh, 40 minutes to drive for me. So, yeah, for such nonsense, uh, yeah, I do it in front of my door. So, that was Toroidal Props Part 1. I'm sure there will be a Part 2, and I, th I hope we will have uh, as much fun as I had this time. <laughs> See you in the next one. 
oh, uh, time lapse from the props uh, printing uh, is coming.